Hey, this is Professor Homa with part three of the Broncos. This one should be short. We're going to do some operations so that we could kind of chop out parts of this and kind of manage it. So now we could color it ourselves. We did all the hard work. We did all the tracing of this. We traced every part of this other than the eye. And that's just basically a circle that you could chop and put a little, a little wedge shape in there. So I'm not even going to worry about the eye. But what I'm going to do is make this so that we can chop out um, these shapes here, this lightning bolt shape, this little tiger tooth shape, and these little shapes here will knock out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that last path that I made. Um, that I think I had it with a purple stroke. I'll, I'll put it back here. Now it's purple. I'll, I'll make it even a blue color. I won't make it the same blue color as the Broncos blue, just so we can see which one is ours. Okay, so now it's covering up. This blue shape was one of the last things we did. So it's actually covering up the eyes and some of these other shapes we did. So we can do an object. I can do an object arrange send to back and now I can see my other shapes just so we could focus on the other shapes now what I want to do right now is kind of knock out this shape so I could even give this it, it might be easier to give this a color I'm gonna give it a foreground color this might be easier to see or or it might not well I'll leave it like that for now but just just so you could see and now these other shapes should actually when I click on these they should be in front so I'm gonna shift click on these and make sure they're in front. I'll do object arrange bring to front. And then also these other little shapes here, which I can't see. And if you can't see them, go into outline. I'll click that one. I'll shift click on that one and that one. And I'll do object arrange bring to front. So now when I go back to preview, I should see all those shapes. So now you can see those shapes. It's not that bad using the yellow. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it one at a time. We'll see how we'll see how this works. First, what we'll try to do is we'll try to knock these out. I'm going to highlight these three pieces, and then highlight this one, the big one. And we're going to do a minus front. It's down here in Pathfinder, down at the very bottom right now. And I'll click on my Pathfinder, and I'm just going to drag it out of that area for now, just so we can see it. This is Unite. This is minus front. Nothing's really showing when I hover over it. And this is Intersect. These are the, the main ones we use with Pathfinders. And we're going to use Minus Front. That's kind of a good chopping one. So again, I'm going to click this, shift click these three, and we're going to do Minus Front. And what they should do is cookie cut out of. And if it doesn't work, we could always do com uh, Compound Path. Works the same way. But we'll try to do the Minus Front. I'll click on it, and that worked. OK, now these things kind of went in the back because it brought the shape to the front again. But that. I, re I wanted to show you that so you could see that now we could these are holes in here that we could see through. Okay, I also, and, and these things had to be in front of the bottom shape in order to do that. Same thing here, if I want these things to chop out, I need to bring them to the front. So I'm going to click both of these and go Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. And I'm going to try to do this all at once. Sometimes you have to do it one at a time. But all th these two shapes are selected. The Tiger Tooth and the Lightning Bolt are selected. I'll hold Shift and click on the big yellow shape. And I'm going to try to do minus front again. And for some reason in class, I had to do this one at a time, but we'll try to do it all together. I'll hit minus front, and that's good. See, what, what happened is minus front negates the top shape, and it chops out wherever they overlap. So it, it removes that overlap. It is, it's exactly what we want. This shape now, you know, you could go back and make it white, because that's actually what it should be. So you can make that white. You could make this shape the back shape. You can make it that dark blue like the Broncos color. And these things, we already had them done. I could click on these. I'll shift click on all of them. And I'll just give them, I'll give them an orange color. Now it's not the actual Broncos orange color. Now if you, if I'll zoom out a little bit. If you wanted to use colors that were the actual Broncos colors, you know, if I, I can eyedrop these, I can actually take my eyedropper. I'll make sure I'm on the, on the fill here. And I'll take my eyedropper, if I can find it. There it is. And I'll click on this orange color, and I'll use that orange color. Same thing the blue. If I want to click on this blue color in the back, I'll take my eyedropper and click on that blue color. Now it's just taking the RGB colors from the screen. And then also, all the strokes that I have here, I don't want any strokes on them anymore. None of them actually have strokes. I could highlight all of them, and question mark just means that they're, they all have the, there's a mix of different things here. So I'll just make it none, so they have no strokes. And now I just recreate it the Broncos logo.